Uh, 49ers just ran the ball, ran the ball, ran the ball, and it was successful. Now, it did take a huge drop whenever Jimmy Garoppolo came in, the running efficiency for sure, but he was able to supplement that with throwing the ball on some third downs and getting some first downs that way. So uh, it's it's interesting. It's going to look different. We've seen Jimmy back there. We know what it takes to win with Jimmy. Defense has to be great. Running game. Now, we are going to play against some teams that are going to do that six-man bear front and force Jimmy to beat him through the air, which we saw, I think, four straight weeks. You know, week 17, um, week 18, wild card, division round, like we saw it during those times. We're going to see it again. We are going to see it again, especially when we play the Rams. Make Jimmy G beat you. That's the new way to stop the 49ers, and he's going to have to prove it. He's going to have to prove it. Now, when all those things happened, he had the injured hand and the shoulder and all that stuff. We'll see here. We'll see. He's got some time. Uh, hopefully, he can answer that call. I'm happy Jimmy Garoppolo is our quarterback. I hate that Trey Lance is hurt, but I'm, I am I like Jimmy. I love Jimmy. Now, one of the most important things from the game that I thought was Jimmy Garoppolo's willingness to throw the ball outside the numbers deep. We haven't seen that. Now, it was Trey's game plan, which that's a Trey thing, but it was so successful. Uh, drew two pass interference penalties. And, you know, he didn't complete any pass over 20 yards, but he did draw one penalty. Um, and it, again, it flexes the defense back. So I'm hoping maybe Jimmy Garoppolo's shoulder is healthy. Kyle Shanahan will trust him to air it out. And you don't have to go to just Jimmy Garoppolo throwing it just between the numbers 10 to 15 yards. That's not a successful way to win a Super Bowl. And so, now that you're going into this, now you're in week three. You're in first place. You're one on one. Every team in the NFC West is one on one, but the 49ers are in first place because they have the only divisional win, uh, which is important. And again, step back, put perspective into this. You got a divisional win against a team that has kicked your butt for over a decade in divisional play. You've always done fairly well against Arizona, and you've always dominated the Rams. So if you can just maintain those things while also beating Seattle, you win your division, you're in. You get into the playoffs, we have seen this roster is built to contend in the playoffs. You just got to get there. You got to get to the dance. So 49ers are in great position. I'm excited about that. But you got, again, I, squishy banana. Kyle needs to trust his quarterbacks. Yes, you got to trust Jimmy. Let him be salty. Let him talk trash. I, I don't know if, I, I don't have this clip up right now. Um, but yeah, he was a little salty. Like he even said, yeah, you know, I was just kind of out there winging it, reminding me of 2017. Uh, we didn't really have the game plan and all these different things we were trying to do. I was just out there throwing the ball. Let him. Let Jimmy cook. Is that an actual, like, thing? Ugh, I feel gross just saying that. Um, from, oh, I love this. From SC Cyrus. Oh, S. Cyrus. There we go. Love that take on Jimmy G. He's got something to prove and hope he stays aggressive. Yes, salty. Freaking Jimmy is a great thing for the 49ers. It really, really is. And I hope that's just his, his attitude. Because when was the last time we saw Jimmy play elite level football? It was those five weeks, the 2017 season, right? When it, it was the last year of his contract, he was playing for his future. He went out there and just cut people up. Maybe he's back now. You know, he came out week three versus the Chiefs towards ACL that next year. Uh, Myself and a lot of other people would argue never looked the same. Quit stepping into his throws at that point, and it was just all just kind of arm whatever. But if his shoulder is healthy and if he's finally healthy and recovered, man, let him do that this stuff, man. Um, yeah, chip on the shoulder, play for a contract. That's a great thing. You know, a lot of people were talking about the incentives that he he took a huge pay cut, but he put it all in incentives. And guess what? He's going to get it all back. And I hope Jimmy gets every damn penny because if he does, that's best for the 49ers. That's best for this season. It's best for the team, the fans. It's best for him. I love to see people get paid. Now, Jimmy's been paid a lot. Uh, um, and, hey, man, go get your money because the better Jimmy plays, obviously, the better it is for the 49ers. But the more money he signs for, again, Huge compensation pick for the 49ers coming back, whether that's a third or a fourth round pick. Or if he plays bad, it's going to be a fifth round pick. But again, keep getting those thirds. Keep getting those thirds. Anyway, I'm pumped, man. Um, it's not the <laughs> it's not the way we wanted it to go. There's no doubt about it. 
Nobody wanted to be where we are right now. And if you did, stop listening to this show, man. This is probably not the place for you. But you got to be happy with where we are. Um, you feel for Trey. I'm the biggest Trey Lance guy out there. You feel for Trey. But the 49ers are in good hands. And all the people that were saying they botched the Jimmy G situation and all that stuff, just completely wrong. Time for the 49ers Rush Podcast. 